looking at YouTube. Danny Staten on the Daddy Dan blog. I'm looking at Tarzan number 16 from 1978. And you would think because it's 1978 and it's a number 16 Tarzan that this would be a good book. But Captain, this is one of the Captain's books. And let me tell you, Captain, you are sadly mistaken if you think this is a good book. Oh my God, this book. Well, but let me just show you what I'm talking about. You know, YouTube, usually I brag about the art of these old books, but I want you to look how shabbily this is drawn and how crappily this is drawn. And the color leaves a lot to be desired in this book. I cannot give this color artist art a thumbs up. It's drab, blah, and very undefined. I don't like it. It bothers me. And I'm actually an Edgar Rice Burrow fan, and I do like the story of Tarzan. And then you, if you notice, Daily Dan don't usually do a superhero kind of stuff on his channel. I stick to books that's non-superhero stuff, because I think superhero stuff has been done to death. But Tarzan ain't really a superhero. He's just a guy who lives in the woods and hangs out with gorillas. Somehow, on some level, the Daily Dan can relate to that. Hmm, makes you wonder, don't it? But, once again, YouTube, it's the same old story. The same old Tarzan blah blah story. Here's some badass poachers. They're in the woods shooting some monkeys and an elephant or two. I'm gonna kill all the little animals. Yes, I am. And Tarzan's like, oh, no, you're not. I'm going to stop you because I'm Tarzan and I look like Greg fucking Evergon. Is BJ in the bear in this motherfucker? And here's the number one problem I have with it. Two pages, three pages in, and you get another full page freaking ad. You're going to see a lot of full page freaking ads in this book and a lot less cartoon stuff. YouTube, you will never know in your life just how familiar these scenes are to Daily Dan. That's right, YouTube. You're wondering what the hell Daily Dan's talking about, and you will never know, trust me. As Tarzan bites off the posters to try to save the monkeys. Oh, that monkey got shot in the freaking head. That monkey is not going to make it. Nope, he's going to bleed to death. And once again, it's been two pages. Let's have another full page freaking ad. Now you see why I don't like this book? One page of cartoons, two pages of ads. Freaking excuse me, YouTube. Four fucking pages of ads because, you know, we don't need no cartoons in our book when we can put ads. By the way, YouTube, I actually had this gun when I was a child and it worked great. Daisy used to make good products before they shipped it all off to China and started turning it into pieces of crap and junk. Woohoo, YouTube, back to the action. Check it out. Tarzan is fighting poachers in the woods. Now, all books do have a good point or two, and now I think I might have found the only good point in this whole freaking book. That is one hell of a nice lamp, ain't it? <laughs> What'd you think I was talking about, you sick bastards? And if nothing else, you can tell it's the 1970s based on some of the hairdos in this book. Oh my god. I'm gonna wreck you, Chuck. I'm gonna wreck you. Oh my god, I love this book. I do. It's fun to make fun of, but it's it's really horrible art. It's not drawn well. It's a sh basic Tarzan and the Poachers kind of story, even though you tell some harem chicks and a mad Arab and some hang gliders in there. It's still Tarzan and it's still just a Tarzan story. The only difference between this and a regular Tarzan comic book is every other freaking page you get a long ass drug out commercial. I've never seen a book with so many fucking commercials in the son of a bitch. It's making me crazy. You think I'm bullshitting, don't you, YouTube? Look, another commercial. And look, look, I'm going to turn back the page just to show you. I'm not joking. It's ball to wall freaking commercials in this book. I'm not making this crap up. It's true. It's damn true. All right, YouTube, check this out. Got a little bit more action with them cardboard planes are crashing and the poachers in full action and Tarzan on the case. But check this out. Check this out, YouTube. Next page over. More freaking commercials! What the fuck? I hate this. I hate commercials like this. Ah! Well, after four more pages of commercials, you get to the last panels of the book where Tarzan attempts to stop the poachers. It ends on an open note because it's going to be continued. Be continued. It says after the next page, 
But guess what? It says after the next page because it's going to give you four more pages of fucking commercials. Oh my God. Ah! Whew, and finally we come to the end of the book. And I'm glad to see the end of the book because I got tired of looking at all the freaking commercials in this son of a bitch. Oh, they got to whoop Tarzan like a yard dog. Tarzan needs whooping like a yard dog for having all these commercials in his goddamn comic book. Uh, I'm sorry, YouTube. I spaz it bad shit. Horribly drawn. Same old boring story plot. Captain, you should tear this toilet. Tear this sucker up and use it for toilet paper. Oh my God, what a horrible book. I feel bad about reviewing it on the Daily Damn Blog. And that's the way it ends right here. And of course, on the very end page, check this out, YouTube. More commercials! Because it's the commercial book. So that's my look at the captain's book, Tarzan, number 16, from 1978. The biggest fucking piece of shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Captain, you should shred this motherfucker and use it for toilet paper. You should feed it to the rats. This Tarzan comic sucks. Danny State, put a daily damn blog. Say like, subscribe, and ring the bell. So Come see me tear apart more horrible comic books one day. Blog over.